Hey everybody, it's Hexa, and today's video is going to be my first proper fall makeup tutorial. I'm going for a Flapper Girl inspired fall makeup tutorial, so it's going to be very vampy and purple toned and dark, but I feel like you can manipulate and alter this look to make it very Halloween appropriate or very like day to day or like night out appropriate so there's like little changes and tweaks you can make to it to make it more wearable or less wearable. Today is a little bit of a crazy day to be honest because I've been having like an uninspired week and I just didn't know what to film for my Saturday upload and then on Friday night my boyfriend came over so I didn't film anything on Saturday like I was intending to and now it's Sunday and I'm hopefully gonna try to get an upload done by tonight if I can edit this video and upload it by tonight, which I hope to do, but I'm not sure, so I'm sorry if this video is a little bit late. But you guys are probably gonna be hearing a lot of noises in the background of this video because we have a guest coming over today and my mom is like calling her taxi driver to help her get here and my dog's probably gonna bark at her when she gets here and it's a whole big mess, but I've just really, I've been really good about my upload schedule and I just want to try to get an upload done by tonight. Before I begin, I just wanted to say for the people who are intending to wear this as a Halloween costume that I will not be teaching you how to do like the hair and the costume for this. This is solely a makeup tutorial, so you can look up pictures of flapper girls from the 1920s or like flapper girl hair tutorials on YouTube and see if you can find something to help you out with that. I am wearing a dress that is totally like not a flapper girl dress, but it's like what I imagine a flapper girl would wear if they lived in the 21st century. So it's just black and very like up and down, really, really simple and straight cut dress, which is kind of what flapper girl dresses are usually like. For the hair, I would say that a big flapper girl staple would be like a chain mail or beaded hairpiece. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's get into this tutorial. First up, my skin has been really dry lately, so before I begin, I'm gonna be using some of my Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask to quench skin's thirst. Technically, this is a mask, but I just use it as a regular moisturizer. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit, like, pea-sized amount and spread that all over my face, especially around my nose area, because that's where I've been getting, like, a lot of skin just flaking for some reason. It's really weird because my nose gets oily but it also gets really dry so I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I'm gonna prime my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer. Before I do my foundation, first I'm just gonna use a tiny dot of concealer over this little pimple I have going. I literally never get pimples on this part of my face, so I don't know what's up with that. For foundation, I'm mixing my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in R210 with a tiny drop of the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in 0.5. I feel like flapper girls always have this like really washed out pale looking skin, at least from like all the photos that I have seen. So that's why I'm adding some of the All Nighter Foundation because that's a little too light for me. And it's also really, really heavy so it'll, I don't know, give the skin that kind of Halloween-y pale appearance. I feel like such a horrible person that there's literally someone coming to my house soon and I'm just over here doing my makeup, but <laughs> I want to be loyal to my subscribers. You want to get foundation on your lips as well because for this look we're going to be altering your lip shape pretty significantly, so um, just try to like block out the color of your lips as well. I'm not going to be using any under eye concealer because this foundation is just so thick that I really don't feel like I need it. And anyways, this look is gonna be kind of gothic and vampy looking, so if you got a little bit of under eye circles peeking through, it kind of just goes with the vibe. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my beauty blender to just kind of reduce the under eye creasing as much as possible. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna bake with that, so I'm gonna distribute just a lot, a lot of product under my eyes because we're using really, really dark um, 
eyeshadows for this look and I don't want to get it like on my foundation. So if you put just a ton of powder under your eyes, that will catch any eyeshadow fallout and then you can sweep it away with a fluffy brush once you are done. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna bake the other parts of my face that crease easily. So the sides of my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then we're gonna take a fluffy brush to lightly powder up the rest of my face. Our guest has arrived. You can tell by the wildly barking dog. My mom is telling the dog off, so I feel like our guest is probably scared of dogs. That's a weird thing about Asian people. Generally, I feel like in Asia there's a lot of people who are deathly afraid of dogs, but not like just pit bulls and rottweilers and big dogs that are stereotypically perceived as being aggressive. They're scared of literally Mocha, who if you have not met my dog on this channel, she has a teeny tiny uh, teddy bear toy poodle, so just small and brown and fluffy. Um, I kind of wiped away some of my bake with that fluffy brush, so I'm just going to apply some more powder, which looks a tad excessive, but it'll save you the trouble of having like black spots all over your foundation. That's where you want your highlighter, not your black eyeshadow. <laughs> so normally for a flapper girl look, you would have a very like rounded and thin brow. So just like the same uh, width the whole way through, just like a round, like slightly curved line. Uh, but I didn't want to make this look too costumey. I would have had to like glue down my eyebrows to do that So I'm just gonna be working with my natural brows first. I'm gonna apply some Anastasia clear brow gel And then I'm gonna go in with a cool toned dark brown brow powder and just kind of fill them in and shape them a little bit. I don't use brow powders very often, but the brow pomade, actually all of the brow products I currently have left are not the right color for me. You cannot bring anyone into this house without her barking hysterically for like half an hour. I'm calling the manicure lady to come over later and do my nails because my gel manicure is starting to fall apart and you betcha Mocha is going to terrorize my manicure lady. Okay, I feel like my brows turned out pretty decent with the brow powder. I'm just gonna go in with that clear brow gel one more time to set it all in place. So I'm taking the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be mixing the shades Buon Fresco and Warm Taupe. And I'm taking that on a large fluffy brush and I'm just gonna gently kind of like buff that in just above my crease. So I wanna uh, kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna work above my crease rather than right in the crease. Actually, let me just zoom you guys in on the eyes. My eyes have already started watering as per usual these days. So now that we've got that first base shade laid down, I'm gonna go back in with Buon Fresco on a slightly smaller and denser blending brush or crease brush and apply that a little bit lower down into my crease because we're gonna be putting black on my eyelid and I just want it to have like a slightly darker purple shade to blend into the black. Okay, so our guest is here. My sister has interrupted me. I just had to meet the guest for the first time ever in our lives. 
with this mess happening. And now some boxes are mysteriously falling on from the attic or somewhere. And my mom just freaked the fuck out because she thought someone died. Today is not my day, but if this makeup tutorial goes well, I will forgive everything else. <laughs> Okay, so next up, we're gonna be going in with that black I was talking about. For this, I'm taking the shade Black Metal from the Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette. You do not need to use this black. Any matte black eyeshadow will do fine. So I'm just gonna kind of like messily apply that to my entire lid. This does not need to look good or perfect in any way because we're gonna fix that with some blending. I'm sorry, I'm going a little bit like out of frame. Okay, let me just try to move my mirror a little bit lower down. Maybe I'll stay in the frame that way. Now that we've got that down, we're gonna take another blending brush and just blend the black into the purple. Just round out that shape a little bit to make it less like patchy and weird looking. So I wanted a little bit of shimmer with this look, so I'm gonna be going in with my Urban Decay Urban Spectrum palette using this shade called Voodoo. It's like a blackened purple glitter shade. I'm gonna be taking that on a spongy brush and then wetting it with some primer water by Smashbox. I'm probably gonna only apply this about halfway and then kind of like diffuse it out towards the outer part of the eye. So I'm gonna take some more of that, just dry on my fingertip and kind of like pat it over top. For the lower lash line, first I'm gonna be lining it with some black waterproof eyeliner from Sephora. I'm gonna go about halfway with this. Then I'm gonna go back in with that black matte eyeshadow and just smoke out the eyeliner with that. And the rest of the way, I'm gonna be lining it with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Vice. This is a nice glittery purple shade which goes really well with this look. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that black and just smoke it out some more. Kind of connect those two eyeliners together. Next, I'm gonna take a small blending brush and kind of just go around that outer corner. Maybe add a tiny bit of black to kind of connect the upper and the lower portions of the eye. And then go back in and blend some more. <laughs> okay, we're done with the eyeshadow, so we can just take a big fluffy brush and wipe away all of that bake. As you can see, there's some just like black spots around here, so it's always a good idea to bake if you're using very fallout prone shadows or dark eyeshadows. Now we're just left with some really, really overly baked, powdery looking under eyes, but it's chill. <laughs> it looks like I cried a little bit here because it's got like a bit of weird texture going on, but we can, we can handle that. <laughs> My mom is laughing very loudly downstairs. Oof. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my Shu Emura, I have no idea how to pronounce this brand name, eyelash curlers and just curl my lashes upwards a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and apply that to my upper and lower lashes. I love the name of Urban Decay's new supposedly sex-proof mascara. I considered doing a review on it, which would be very comical, but TBH, I've seen some reviews in which people said they didn't really like it. So, I don't know, and I'm quite attached to my perversion mascara. I really like it. I don't know, the one of the Troublemaker mascara just doesn't really seem like my style. Okay, lashes done. I'm super upset about this like spot over here under my eyes, but there, there's really nothing I can do about it. My eyes have just been extremely sensitive and watery recently and I don't really know why. Before I step away from the eyes, I'm just gonna dip in with my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia and take the shade Forever Lit, which is this one. And what am I gonna apply that with? I'm gonna apply that to my inner corners with the tip of my beauty blender. No, maybe not. I'm gonna apply that to my inner corners with a slightly dampened brush because who doesn't love a really, really poppin' inner corner highlight to distract from the patchy mess under my eyes? Actually, Flapper Girls had this like really doughy, doe-eyed look to them, so maybe I'll just like add a little bit of that under my tear duct over here, and that'll kind of cover up the bleeding of the color and the powder from my tears. <laughs> I'm sorry if this tutorial is super long. I realize I've been filming for ages. It's been a kind of like chatty, talkative tutorial. It's been a weird few days and I just had a lot to say about it in this video. So thank you guys who have actually watched this and sat through it. I really appreciate that. Okay, so now that we have zoomed out onto the face, uh, it is time to stay very, very true to the flapper girl aesthetic and that does not involve any contouring. Instead, it involves a lot of blush. This is probably my favorite blush in the world. I wish it was cruelty free, but it's not. It's the Lancome Blush Subtil in the shade A Plum. I don't know if it's just my skin tone or my style, but I feel like purpley blushes look so good on me and I love wearing them. I, I know a lot of people love peachy blushes and coral blushes and I absolutely hate them. Um, <laughs> I'm just not an orange kind of person generally, but we're just gonna apply this blush really liberally in kind of like an infinity shape. So you got, you go like this, you kind of like sweep it in an infinity shape and that helps you keep the color most concentrated in the center of your cheek. I feel like it's not quite dark enough actually. I did this look a few days ago and I applied my blush before baking. So I feel like maybe that's why the color stayed on a bit better, a bit more concentrated. So I think I'm gonna go in with another blush after this just to get that really, really dark blush going because that was like the style in those days. If you see any pictures of flapper girls, they always had just a ton of blush on. So for my other beautiful purpley blush, I'm using Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Your Love is King. I also really love this color, but I don't use it as often because uh, the Too Faced Love Flush blushes are number one, a huge tongue twister, but <laughs> they are incredibly pigmented. So it's really, especially since this is the darkest color in the palette, it's really hard not to like go overboard with it, but for this look, since we want to go overboard, I guess we can try it. So I'm gonna try to like apply it mostly to the center of my cheek. 
I'm just taking a really tiny bit of product because I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I'm down with that. I have a couple of like little moles on, on my cheek. All of my moles on my face seem to be on this side. I don't know why. Um, but blush and powder and highlight and stuff tends not to like stay around those little dots which is kind of annoying but what you gonna do okay we're done with the face i'm not gonna do any contour or highlight i just feel like it's not very 20s <laughs> So um, I'm just gonna go straight in with the lips and for this, this is probably the hardest part of this look and it's also the part that you want to change up um, in case like if you, if you want to wear it for Halloween you can make the lip more dramatic and if you want to wear it for every day you can make the lip a little bit more normal looking. I had to move my camera a little bit just so I can get my mirror at a good level so I can do this lip. Um, you're gonna want a really, really well sharpened lip liner. I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Beat. So rather than going along with your natural lip shape, you're gonna wanna make it a little bit more sharp. And I'm gonna kind of thin out my upper lip a little bit so it's gonna go really high up in the middle around the cupid's bow and then thin out towards the corners i really love this lip liner color but it's so crumbly so as you can see we're gonna go for like a really small but wide like pouty look This is the part where it starts looking really, really costumey. Obviously, it looks a little bit like Queen of Hearts, kind of. You do not have to do your lips like this. I just wanted to do it just to like look kind of just 20s and pouty and cute or something. <laughs> I'm gonna try to extend the outer corner a little bit because it's just a little too unnatural. I messed it up. Right there. I'll fix it with concealer. And now for the lower lip, similarly, we're gonna go kind of pouty and a little bit more narrow, a little bit more like that. Sorry, I'm out of frame again. <laughs> See, this, this is why I don't like MAC lip pencils. They're really dry and crumbly and they break so easily. Ugh. I'm dying to get my hands on the Everlasting Lip Liners by Kat Von D. They're cruelty free, they are, you don't have to sharpen them, they just, the color selection is amazing. I, I can't wait. Okay, so this is kind of the shape we got going with the lips. And now we're just gonna fill that in. Now you can go over the lip liner with a little bit of powder just to set it in place. So this is what we've got so far. Uh, you can keep the lip this color if you want. I think it works very well with the look, but I would like it to be just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia lip palette and I'm gonna mix together two colors. I'm taking shade 13, which is this really dark eggplant shade, and shade 10, which is a beautiful, rich, berry shade or beet shade. So those are gonna mix together to create a creamy dark grape.
I've kind of fucked up the lip shape at this point. I'm gonna fix up my lips off camera because my camera is dying. So just give me a minute. Okay, I fixed my lips. I did my hair, kinda. I mean, I let, I let my hair down and then I floofed it, sprayed it, you know? I was gonna curl it, but that's gonna take me ages and I should probably go meet our guest who's already been in the house for an hour and I've been up here like a little just hermit hiding from her. <laughs> Um, but that is the completed look, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm, I'm kind of feeling like this could have done with some contour. Like, I could get away with doing contour with this, it wouldn't betray the flapper girl style too much, but anyways, that's, we're gonna leave that out for today, because I gotta go. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and this tutorial, and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more, and you can donate to my Patreon down below to support me and my channel. Please let me know if there are any other kinds of looks that you would like to see in the future. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!